Despite humans' desire to control fire and forest destruction, it is a process that has been around for hundreds of millions of years. This process aids in fertilizing soils, regulating plant distribution, and aiding in biodiversity. The rise of fire and its intimate relationship with plants is a story that has changed our Earth for the past 360 million years. However normal, man-made, or naturally occurring fires may seem today, there was a time when fires did not exist. If stock markets existed during early human years, you can bet that every cave dweller would have invested all they had into a crazy new discovery called fire, arguably the most important discovery of all time. Since its discovery, fire has become such an integral part of our everyday lives that most of us take it for granted. But what would our species do without it? Before we imagine a world without fire, hit that subscribe button and turn on the little notification bell now so you'll be the first to see the new videos coming out on Googleplex. Would advanced technology be possible if humans had never figured out how to use fire? Would humans have been able to eventually use electricity and electronic devices? Would our lives be the same without cooked food? How would we function once the sun went down? And how would a lack of fire affect our intelligence? Here's what would happen if we never discovered fire and a very different world it would be. In certain climates and environments, a primitive culture can survive without fire because local fruit provides enough nutrition to counter the occasional raw meat. People don't need to hide in dark caves from weather or predators. Nights and winters aren't life-threatening. And all in all, there's no incentive to invent anything because life is bearable at least. Without fire, not only would the world around us be completely different, but so would we. We wouldn't look the same eat the same, or even think the same. But how could a simple source of heat and light affect the entire evolution of our species? Without fire, cooking would not have been invented. Without cooking, we wouldn't even be humans as you recognize them today. We would be eating lots and lots of sushi, maybe just raw vegetables. The heat of the fire not only killed harmful bacteria living in raw meat, it also made the food softer and easier to chew. If it weren't for cooking, we'd all still be walking around with large jaws and big strong teeth capable of tearing through the rough fibers of raw meat. However, our appearance would be the least of our problems because our brains would also be a lot smaller than they are today. Without fire, humans would still be in Africa as we would never have been able to survive the colder climates. Without fire, we would be a lot hairier. Without fire, we could never have learnt to smelt metals and evolve out of the Stone Age. How would the ninjas work? They'd be put out of a job. But seriously, there'd be no metallurgy as we know it because the metal needs to be shaped after being heated by fire. But once you get past the fact that we'd all be shivering, perhaps you think it wouldn't be so bad because we could have electricity to warm us. Electric heaters are all over the place and they certainly don't require fire. So we wouldn't freeze to death and perhaps people could still live in Alaska. As the story goes, fire was probably discovered when something natural like a lightning storm triggered a wildfire. But what if that fire burned out before any Neanderthal had noticed it? As a result, fire was never discovered. Yes, this is really simplifying things. As it's believed that fire was discovered many times by many different groups all over the world. But humor me for a second. If we didn't discover fire, human beings would be a lot different than we are today. For one thing, we'd be a lot less productive and we'd spend a lot more time in bed. No technology would exist today without the first technology, mastery of fire. We wouldn't be able to have cars. That sure would change our world, wouldn't it? They're currently needed because gasoline engines use sparks to create a small combustion that through a series of gears and mechanical parts powers the wheels. Granted, a spark isn't exactly fire. However, we would have gotten nowhere close to a spark if we didn't have fire. Trains. Perhaps you don't think that losing trains is any great loss. Who really rides trains nowadays anyways? Well, lest you forget, trains still carry vast amounts of goods across land. They're often supposed to be more efficient than trucks because of their fixed rail. 
Have you ever been so busy that you find yourself wishing for more hours in the day? Well, you should be happy with the amount you have because before fire, humans' activities were mostly limited to daylight hours. The ability to control light allowed humans to extend their time awake into the latter hours of the day. The modern human spends about 16 hours actively awake. That's double the time of most other mammals who can't control fire. If we didn't have fire, the quality of our sleep would also be affected. How soundly do you think you'd sleep if you had to constantly worry about being attacked by predators overnight? Probably not great, right? Our deepest level of sleep is called REM, or rapid eye movement. This state is where we have our most vivid dreams, and our brain develops long-term procedural memories. Without these kind of memories, we wouldn't be able to retain skills and repeat previously learned tasks. Using fire to keep predators away allowed early humans to safely fall into REM sleep, improving our ability to master complex tasks like tool manufacturing. You never know what the next big innovation will be to change our evolution the way that fire did. Maybe one day all of our food will come in a pill form and we won't have to spend any energy at all digesting it. But that's a story for another day. Fire has got to get a mention in the race for the best creation ever. Without it, we'd be a hungry bunch of people eating who knows what, and we'd all be biking everywhere. Well, that'd be a good thing because we wouldn't be obese, but everyone would be walking around sweaty and smelly. Without the use of fire, there's no light in the dark, no heating in winter, no cooking meat or baking bread, no burning bricks, no smelting ore, no civilization makes one a little more thankful for the things that we take for granted, does it not? Still, it's kind of fun to have an imagination. If you learned something new from today's video, give it a like and send it to your friends. Knowledge is something that should always be shared. And don't forget to subscribe to Googleplex.